there was a Taiwanese flag on the flag jacket, you know, the, the bomber jacket worn by Tom Cruise. And they don't recognize Taiwan, so that wasn't allowed in China. And so rather than CGI that out or whatever, they just, Top Gun was like, we're not changing our movie. And so it didn't play in China. Taiwan is the first country to see the speed of the speed of the So that's why John Cena apologized in Mandarin. Yes. You are the first country to see the speed of 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 the speed. Another example of being captured by this, this cult, let's just call it what it is, that you can't even mention the existence of an actual country in Taiwan without offending the Chinese. You know, Hollywood is so in bed with them that John Cena has to apologize in their language. It's crazy. It's crazy to think about. So you're, you're telling me the Chinese box office is bigger than the U.S. box office? Of any single country, it's the largest amount of money that comes in for these movies. Yeah. Wow. But it makes sense. I mean, you think about how many people are there and how many people are buying tickets. Wow. Yeah. And normally that's where most mo most movies make the money. Those big movies like you're talking about, the Marvel movies, MCU, they're making most of their money in the Chinese market. So the, the, money, the money speaks. I mean, that's what they're going for. That's why they don't want to divorce themselves from this country, even though they commit atrocities because they're going to be making a ton of money but see it's encouraging to see that top gun is one of the top grossing films of all time that it made a billion dollars without playing in china the fact that that movie made the money that it did without china's help is kind of an encouraging thing it's like we don't have to rely on that market you know we don't have to put things out that are just to please them disney has chosen to do that if you love movies too like and subscribe <laughs> 